So we're going to play a little game, Tony. You ready? Oh, I love this? games at this time of the morning. <laughs> we, we call it Would You Rather. Would You Rather. Would You Rather. Yes. Would this you is rather? not like the other game that I play on my podcast. That's right? a different game. That's a different okay, game. Yeah. Late, a good we one, do that late night. Though. That's a late night broadcast. Yeah, that's not breakfast on broadcast. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's midnight broadcast. <laughs> Hello there. All right. So <laughs> is this thing on? Yeah, we're going to give you two <laughs> options, Tony. And okay. you, you have to pick which one you'd rather have, essentially. All right? Easy. Here we go. Sean McDermott, Sean Payton. Uh, people are going to be surprised. I'm taking Sean McDermott. I like Sean. I love Sean Payton, but if you're not bringing Drew Brees with you, who, oh, by the way, is now on the downside, yeah. still a great player, i got to go with the young Sean McDermott. And he's an interesting and he, case. And he's a Philly local a really guy. guy. I, 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 rough ending I agree here. with you. Yeah. I feel like he got – it wasn't right. I think this right. is when Andy started to sort of lose it at the end. Mm -hmm. You remember yeah. he brings him in after Jim Johnson passes. He gives him essentially one year mm -hmm. and then blows him out of there. And then – Brought in Juan Castillo. Juan Castillo. But you, you yeah. know what the thing about McDermott is, though? You typed his name on Twitter, and it's like you typed a dirty word. People – fans are not in well, love it was, with it the was, idea. See, I, I, I'm, I'm, like, you, I'm, I'm like with you, Rob. I think he got a raw deal at the end. And Todd Bowles, too. Remember Todd Bowles? Look what yeah. he's done. And now look, he's the head Goes coach the of the Jets, and, and they're playoff Cardinals. foul. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great defense of the Cardinals. And then you look at – that was an interesting – you brought up the Jets. That's an interesting new GM, new coach dynamic that maybe the Eagles should take a look at to see how they work together because yeah. that's something they're going to have to go for. But, yeah, Sean McDermott, I think, is a really good choice. Yeah, I was well looking done, for a strong Tony. voice. Well, you. thank you. You ask me the questions, I give you the answer. I like right. it. This one is, uh, is, is one choice and one fill-in-the-blank almost. Sam Bradford <laughs> or anybody else? Wow. Well, there, anybody else isn't available, unfortunately, believe it or right. not. You know, all of the above. Uh, Bradford, to me, I thought he played well. And I think if you work on the offensive line and you don't ask him to do things that he can't do, which is try to run, which he doesn't do for the most part, mm -hmm. and you get a good line, you get a running game, he's fine. He, if he runs he's play fine. action, right. the guy is, exactly and we saw that the guy has touch and he can make the nice throws. If he gets guys open, he gets the ball to them. So. I, I, you know, the question now is, will Sam Bradford want to come back with Chip gone? And yeah, depending yeah. on what system it is. He's right. even said that yesterday. Hey, I want to be here, but it I depends on what system. the system is, and I've been yeah. through this my whole career, and it could be the same thing. All right, win or lose on Sunday against the Giants? Wow. Should be London or no on It depends yeah. on how much you want to go to London and yeah. overpay for everything and, you know, get to do that and play over there. I don't know whether guys are sitting down saying, you know, do I want to go to London? Maybe I'll jump offside, or maybe I'll make commit a penalty <laughs> you know that'll cost though? us a drive. You know what I think guys are saying? <laughs> I think guys are saying, can we prove that it was the coach, not the players? I think that that's what they're going to be playing. The Giants for have Sunday. a lot to play for too, though. Yeah, and you're going to have an angry, an angry Odell Beckham Jr. too. I know, but I think that's what's going on in the Eagles. I guarantee you one right thing: now. there will not be the 53 Angry Men shirt will not resurface <laughs> no, on Sunday no, for this game. No. It all comes guarantee. down to fish and chips and how much we enjoy. <laughs> all right, so pub. this is big for tonight, Tone. Yes. Midnight. You going champagne or a shot? You going old school or a little champagne? Why not both? Why not a shot with a champagne chaser? That's what I do on Two Street when I hang down with my friends. Well, that's what you're going to say on a Tuesday. <laughs> Two Street on a Tuesday. Why not? My man, my man over there, no, I, I see my guy's right. eye. Exactly right. Very nice. That's how you get after it. All right, yeah. Rose Bowl Parade or the Mummers Parade? You, you better be careful how yeah. you answer this one. Well, Tony. listen, I'm a Philly guy, and I've been in, I've been to the Rose Parade, and it's beautiful in California, but it's a bunch of flowers and stuff. Oh, it's there's not the Mummers. There it is. It's about the Mummers, baby. I'll right. be out there tonight. I'll be out there tomorrow. I'll be out with the Woodland String Band. Yeah. I'll be out there tonight, all day tomorrow. I'm ready. This one is a no-brainer. If you're a Philadelphian, or even if you're Mummers. not, and you're there living here, and you say anything else, you're nuts. It is the Mummers Parade. There's no question about that.